Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Today is the 23rd, it is Wednesday, the 23rd of February. And today I want to talk to you about, well, first let me make sure I'm going live. I had some connectivity issues earlier. There I am, we're live. <laughs> so today uh, I wanna talk about how you can increase your income by showing more value. Uh, when I coach agents, the every time they have a sale, I ask them, did you get two names, two referrals? And almost every time, almost every time is no. So many agents rely on the referrals to be passive referrals. Like they want to do such a good job that people just say, okay, here, here are these people. So what I want you to do is think about this, is that one, if you are not getting referrals from your clients without asking, I mean, let's say not every single one, but if you had, let's say 12 sales, let's do easy math, one a month, 12 sales, and you don't, in the next year, you don't have one or two or three or four of them from referrals from the sales from the year before just a couple without even asking maybe your your value wasn't enough for those clients to think about you and not forget about you when they talk to other people because every single person, well, not every single, almost every single person knows someone buying or selling a house or talk to people about it. People just, example, when people buy a house, while they're going through the process, they're talking to their family, they're talking to their friends. After they go through the sale, they're talking to their family, they're talking to their friends. And they're finding people through just having this conversation about buying a new home, getting into a new home, and about how those people are looking to buy or sell soon. And some of those people, why aren't they giving you their name, your name, saying, you got to talk to Tony. Call him now before you even go, go anywhere further. So one of the reasons why you might not be getting those passive referrals is because the value wasn't 100% there. It's kind of like, did you do a good job? Yes. But was the value there? Example, you go to a restaurant, you have a good job, you had to do a good job as at a, or have a good meal at a restaurant, you might not refer to them to that restaurant unless you have a great experience on that. So does that make sense? Unless you have a great experience, or, uh, do you refer, you gotta go to this restaurant. So that's what I wanna say about your value. Think about your value, the things you're bringing to the table. Are you going above and beyond something that's different that they never even thought of, that they can't believe you did, that you, uh, anything. Now those are just on the passive ones. So how to make more money, that's the topic today. How to make more money is to one, think about your value and make sure you're going way above and beyond. So all those people, I see it in agents, they get the ones that are getting referrals without even asking, they're doing the, the above and beyond and building a, a connection. But now on the separate side of things, you have to ask for referrals. Every single sale, you should have two new people added to your database, minimum, minimum, not just people buying or selling, so example, I'm just throwing off the top of my head without even working on a script. You just sold someone's house and you said, great, I'm glad we got to the end, congratulations. You'll see you bought a new house, so happy for you, glad we could get it to uh, you, the home of your dreams, and I'm so happy for you and your family. And by the way, did it, I just wanna make sure I did a great job for you. Do you feel like I did a good job for you? I felt that we had a great connection and we, and we made this uh, transaction smooth. And see what they say. And when they say, yeah, you did great. Thank you so much for all of you done, all of that, yeah, yada, yada. And they go, great, can you do me a favor? Can I have, would you mind? I'd love to help 
your family, your friends, the people closest to you. Can you give me two names of people? They don't even have to be buying or selling now. Maybe people that you think might be buying or selling now. Just want to connect with them. Tell them I just help you. So they have me, my information to be a resource to buy or sell in the near future or, or sometime in the future. Again, not selling them anything. Just want to name someone they connect with. Again, you could you could work with that a little bit better. Uh, I was just throwing that off the top of my head. But you should be getting two referrals. Now, if you're back to the value, if you don't feel comfortable asking for two referrals, did you go the extra step? Did you do did you show them the value? Did you give them the best value for their money? Were you the best agent for the job? Because I know deep down, if you are, no, you went above and beyond. You did stuff that no agent would do and you were the best fit for them, the best relationship. You have no fear of asking them for referrals. Maybe a little bit of that fear of asking for referrals is you're like, you're too scared to ask. Did I do a good job? Maybe you're a little too scared to ask. Do you can you ref, give me two names of your closest family and friends that I could connect with? Maybe you're worried they're going to say no. They won't say no. Don't worry about that. But they might say, ah, let me think about it. Get back to you. Maybe maybe that's true. But sometimes like man, they're just kind of they really don't want to connect you with their family or friends. So just because you got to the finish line doesn't mean there was value enough value there to start referring you to family and friends so that's the subject today to think about that so and I have the cleaning crew here in my office today (laughs) so if you can hear that in the background so if you can think about that value the value of what you give so you feel comfortable asking for referrals because you know you went so above and beyond they better give you names they better because you did stuff that no one else would do. So think about those type of things. And if you don't know what those things are and you're not sure or what you can do, not connect with me. I'm happy to discuss with you things that you can do to go above and beyond what other agents are doing. Call me, text me, email me. We'll, I'll set some time aside. We'll, we'll brainstorm. We'll think of things that you've done before, You things you think you think in the future. I have list after list of list of things agents do and i'm not going to put them on this because it's different for all agents because if i say one thing you're going to think i got to do that for every client or i should do that or uh, is that okay to do as an agent because you know that's not in our normal sphere of or normal scope of our job things like that So that's it for today. Have a great Wednesday, and we'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Bye-bye.